Hey, this video is about uh, the hash table data structure. It is used for representing sets of elements. Let's write this in code. So what we can do with this set is to add elements to it, more precisely integer, integers, and uh, to check whether a certain integer is a member of the set, that is, whether it was already inserted. Of course we can also create a new hash table. Uh, all the elements of these sets are going to stay in an array. This is the what is specific about the hash table, that the elements of the sets it represents stay in an array, in a table, that is why it is called a hash table. Okay, the addition and the membership check have very simple implementations, assuming that we have a helper function that tells us where in the array the element is or should be. So the whole key to the implementation is how to figure out where an element should be. And this is done using a technique called as hashing. In general the hash function is something that takes an object and returns an integer that can be used to index the array table. One uh, uh, possible hashing functions for integers is the following. called the multiplication hash because it starts by multiplying x with a prime and what we do next is that we extract the most significant bits of that uh, multiplication uh, and we extract as many bits as we need to index in the table so if we have a table of the size uh, 2 to the power 20 then we would need 20 bits So you see, if we take the 20 most significant uh, uh, bits, uh, then that means we need to get rid of 
the 12 least significant bits assuming that um, we have 32 bits in total now we cannot be too sure that we have exactly 32 bits but we can at least check that we have at least 32 bits And how do we pick the prime? Well, one good choice for primes is the following. We compute the inverse of the golden ratio. this big so now we imagine that the 32 bits that we have in an integer are used to represent the fractional number the, the fractional part of this number and we take a prime that is close to that value We could also represent it in hex to see exactly how big it is and we see that it will start with a 1 if we have 32 bits. Okay. <coughs> and what we do next is that we go through the array and we find an empty slot. So we have we need a notion of being empty and not being empty. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna take a special value, I'm gonna take zero to be the special value to mean empty. And this also means that you can never insert the value zero in this hash table. we keep going around until we find either something that is empty or a location that already has X and that's lo the location we want okay <coughs> now we need to make sure that we initialize the table to be empty whether this compiles okay it compiles now a few things to note about this hash table there is uh, a few problems with it or rather a few improvements that you might be in interested in figuring out how to do one is how to delete an element you could add, add a method here that says delete an element. Another is I used zero as a special value, but what if the user wants to use zero? Maybe what it's better to do is to 
to really have some special value that the user can never insert here uh, and uh, with regards to this though I should make a, a, a note which is that if you if you know that a certain value you can use as being special and you don't need to accommodate for all possible user values the implementation ends up being faster which means that you can use it instead of the one in the standard library which has to accommodate for all possible values and therefore has to be a little bit slower okay and uh, finally the size of the table is fixed here but if the table gets full how can you increase the size dynamically while the user of this class is inserting elements in it okay that does it